everyone, you go from Babe Time TV, and today we're going to be looking at the Sigali 150 watts. Love this mod. Um, this is a variable wattage, variable voltage mod. Runs two 18650 batteries in it, and basically you can run builds from 0 0.1 ohms all the way up to 3 ohms. Uh, which is great because it gives you the versatility of having uh, the option of running an RBA or RTA in, on it with different builds on it or you can run like your smaller tanks like the Nautilus or the Aspire which have a little bit higher ohm on it. So it, it, it's a do-it-all kind of mod. It goes from 10 watts all the way up to 150 watts and it, it does adjust the voltage accordingly to how many watts and your build. So you cannot as adjust the voltage by yourself on this device, but it will automatically adjust it. So my first impression on this mod, um, I've seen in person the 100 watt and the 100 watt plus. The 100 watt had a lot of things that many people didn't like. Like it didn't have a spring loaded 510 connection in it. Uh, it had screws for the batteries. And that's something that the competitors uh, do have to work on uh, like the IPv3 which is like in the same kind of price range as the Sigali 150 watts and it's kind of like in the same function so but the IPv3 goes up with the new update all the way up to 160 watts but the difference between this one is that it had we'll go see it in the close-up but it has a spring-loaded 510 pin it does come with magnetic magnetic battery lid and it also comes now with uh you know the bevel the edges on it and it also comes with this sexy black uh silicone case type thingy that you can put on it so to protect your investment which is pretty cool let's go dive down in close up and see this puppy up here we have it guys in close up but sigeli 150 watts so basically this device is basically the same as the 100 watts and the 100 watt plus in shape and dimensions. Uh, the only difference is, is that the 100 watts didn't have the beveled edges here and the 150, the 100 watt plus does have this beveled edge on the side but it, it has a wavy pattern design. This one doesn't have it but other than that it's pretty similar device. The 100 watts didn't have a magnetic back door. The 100 watt plus does have a magnetic back door like this one. So how you want to open it to access the battery compartment is really easy. You go to the bottom of the device, you have a little slot here where you can put your finger and you put your fingernail in it and then you lift up the battery compartment. Then you're greeted with eight rare earth magnets that holds the door securely in place and you have a little battery tab here that you can pull and it will easily pull your battery out of the box. I'm using vamp battery that I got at my local vape shop. So far so good. Um, the little tab, a little suggestion that I could give you to you is when you do the first one do not put it to the right put it to the left the batteries to insert the batteries you have to be careful because these ones if you try to insert them at an angle they will not go in so you insert them pretty straight and just push them in plus positive on this side for this battery then you put move the tab over to the other side and then put it plus a positive side downwards uh, the reason why I suggest doing it on the left side first for the first battery is basically you, you're left with a little hanging piece here of this tab and if you do it on this side the hanging piece will you know sometimes cut, go out of the device and here it's flush with this side of the device so it's not gonna go out the rare earth magnets are very strong so this lid will always close and stay closed look at that I will drop it from this height boom it just <laughs> It just slaps back into place and very nicely. Then to turn this device on, you will press the power button five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're greeted with the Sigeli logo, which my camera will not capture. And then after that, you have the menu. Here is the menu, okay? So that basically you have your wattage here, voltage, battery percentage, and ohm resistance on your build that you currently have. Uh, this, you have the plus and the minus. Plus is going to go up in wattage and it will adjust the voltage accordingly to the wattage that you're pumping out and the minus side will basically go down in wattage. From 10 watts all the way up to 50 it will go up in 0.1 increments and then after 50 it will go up in 1 watt increments. There is a lock function on this device. You can uh, click and hold the power and the, the plus and the negative side together and it will lock the device. And then after that, you hold them again 
and you will unlock the device fire button is not um it has a little bit a uh, uh, small delay on it i'll crank it up because this build is too low to run at this but you will see it i don't know if you will hear it when i press it it's not instant there's a little delay on the the fire switch but i think it's normal with the a device that is running a chip the top we have a spring loaded 510 connection it's a copper connection and it does have the the little vent holes although some other devices box mud and variable vo uh, voltage and variable wattage uh, box mud do have a bigger uh, connecting socket if you would say here you know that the lip is bigger and the air channel are bigger let's say you're running a tank like an, uh, an eye clear that does not have venting on it like for example uh, if we are talking about the uh, Nautilus, the Nautilus does have its separate hair hole, so it takes the air from here compared to uh, an iClear, for example, that takes it from the bottom. Uh, I could see maybe, some, I didn't try it very much with the iClear, but I can see some problems here because it's flush mounted. So I don't know if you will be able to see it clearly, but there, it's not sticking out that much. So although the slots are here, once you screw in the atomizer, it pretty much seals it all. So I don't particularly know if it's going to affect it, but I do not use this device for the iClear. Although I do use my Nautilus on it, but just something I wanted to point out. The button, the fire button is a little bit, not jerky, but it does have a little bit of play in it. But overall, it's still very comfortable. Then after that, you have also the silicone case that comes with it. Sigeli logo on it and then the website. Although I would have liked it to be uh, just plain, there's no problem with that. It fits pretty uh, snug and flush in it. But basically, you just insert it like this and then you will be able to push it right about here. And then after that, you will have to uh, you know, jiggy it and try to push it and pull it like this. And then once the sleeve is inserted, there's a really nice fit here. Although uh, one thing that I've noticed is that the plus and minus button are kind of hard to go press once the sleeve is in it compared to the fire button. This one, since it, it sticks out a little bit, there's no problem. Uh, there's still the hole. Battery venting is, is plenty on this device. Um, that's one thing they upgraded compared to the other version. And then when you have the case, when there's a big opening here, so there's no problem for that. So this is pretty much it for the Sigeli 150 watts in close-up. It's still a freaking sexy machine. Just for the fuck of it, I cranked it up all the way up to 100, 150 watts, pumping 7.5 volts on a 3.0.3 uh, .3 build. Ooh, booyah. So just for the fuck of it, let's, let's just vape it. I juiced it up, make sure I'm not going to get a fucking dry hit, because I know at that wattage, it's, it could happen, but... Woo! That was intense. So, my impression on the Sigeli, I, I really, really, really fucking love it. I was not sure, because this is my first ever box-type mod. Uh, it's not a mechanical box mod, but still, it's my first ever. And I was not sure if I would like it or not. I, I'm, I like, you know, nice, pleasing aesthetic, but still... This is very nice to hold, and it's one thing I really, you know, noticed right off the bat when I started using this. It's it's really nice, and, and it holds very well in the hand. So I have to give them a, you know, the box style mods a plus for that because it's kind of it's kind of nice. Um, it does fit well in the coat pocket. It's not winter. It's not summer yet here. Uh, so I I don't know about like not wearing a coat, how it fits in your pocket and everything, and how cumbersome it could be, but. I love it. The buttons are really nice, like you saw in the close-up and everything. The option and the, the range of options that you can go from, you know, 10 all the way up to 150 is quite amazing for me. You know, on some certain builds, if I would, like, for example, ha like run my mechanical mod on it, it would not push as much as big clouds as this thing can do. Uh, this thing, if you ramp up the voltage, it can chuck like crazy. So I really love that. And I noticed that I use it with like 0.1 to 0.3 ohm builds i use it always around anywhere between 50 or 60 watts all the way up to 80 or 90 i don't really go over 100 but i just did it and i did it a couple of times on different builds and it, it does vape pretty well although it guzzled juice like a fucking motherfucker uh but it, it works and it chucks it chucks 
So if you're if you're in the market for a device like this, but you know you have like the new DNA DNA forty that just came out, and then it still goes up to forty watts max, and I've seen myself using it more around you know over fifty. So for me, spending two hundred and forty bucks or something for a DNA uh, forty, you know device that has that chip in it would not be worth it plus it's you know this is a hundred and a hundred bucks in the u.s i saw it a hundred bucks a little bit cheaper than the ipv also which the ipv does have its flaw compared to this one both have you know nice things about both of them but i think this one is a better bet than the ipv my friend does own an ipv and he just ordered this one instead because he said he loved mine better and he was like very impressed you know the ipv has a lot of things like um ipv3 has like the sensor button i don't know if they the newest one that comes out they took it out but it has the sensor that's not working it has a charging port that's not working i mean you're selling a, a device for 130 bucks to 150 depending on where you're buying it and then you have a bunch of shit on it that doesn't work this one has everything it's not as stylish in aesthetics as the ipv but it has everything on it that's there and it works they listen to the people which is an amazing you know an amazing thing uh, you know, people said this is bad. This is bad. You should change that. They listen to the people and they did it. So I have to give kudos to a company that listens to the you know the buyers and the customer that you know get their shit. And it's worth it. It's worth a hundred bucks. It's worth definitely worth a hundred bucks. It's worth using it and it's worth you know checking it out. And plus you know the little thingy that they give you on top of it is just you know it's nice. It would be cool if you can in the future get more stylish cases for it and everything. But you know we'll see. I give uh, two, th two thumbs up definitely for the Sigeli 150 watts. And plus, with the price difference and everything, when you see uh, the IPv3, uh, then you see the 150 watts from Sigeli. The price difference is there, so I would suggest going for this one. But also for the other models, you have the 100 watt plus, which has... That Sigeli made, which has all the, the things that this one has. It has the beveled edges. It has the refined... Uh, 510 connection which is spring loaded now the magnetic battery lid and everything on it but it still goes up to a hundred and the, the price different on most website that I saw is about like ten dollars so if you know if you're in the market for getting this one don't buy the hundred and you know the hundred watt plus it's it's not worth it when you can get the hundred and fifty and for you know if you ever want to push it all the way up to 150 watts then you can and it's only ten dollars more the only difference is that this one doesn't come with like the wavy pattern that's engraved on the hundred watt plus from Sigeli anyway this concludes my review of the Sigeli 150 watts uh, definitely recommend this one you can run anything on it and it's fucking amazing this was Hugo from Baytime TV I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next video